Good day and welcome back. Today we have a 2024 Host Yukon. And I'm starting on the inside because we're just finishing up preparations for the customer to come pick it up in about an hour. Um, thought I'd uh, kind of show you what the meat and potatoes of the camper looked like versus starting on the exterior. Everyone's seen the exterior of these things, so. I'm just gonna kind of get underway and begin it. Battery disconnect is hanging there. All your slide out buttons are there. You do have the remote for the uh, the legs to go up and down also. Um, he opted for this rear couch. Of course, you get some storage up top here. And then uh, you do get some lighting underneath as well. Um, there is a table pedestal mount here. You do have uh, two drawers underneath, so you're not wasting any space. And those are really, really large. And then if I'm going to show you, you can kind of see underneath it. And when you make it into the bed, that's kind of what she looks like. Um, of course, this table can be moved from uh, this side to go to the rear. And of course, the rear couch, when you're looking at the television, is kind of what it's set up for. This also gives you the option of having another bed. If you guys look, this table is highly mobile. Moves around a little bit of everywhere. Um, do have power hanging out down below. Day night shades, night shades, day shades, window, all that good stuff. Um, does come with a television in here. That's how they ordered it. Stereo, USB ports. Um, no fireplace, but we do have uh, shelving up here. So extra storage as well. Of course, we talked about the television. There is a gen set on this one tankless monitors and then uh, of course your solar uh, moving right on from there I'll show you the kitchen area pretty big does have the Truma Aquago backup camera is hanging out right there that's kind of what the interior underside looks like you do get an oven in this particular one they went to the three burner cooktop and then you do get this uh, slide out tray this is actually a little bit better than the mammoth um, i did another video a day ago on the mammoth and that little tray was pretty pretty flimsy all right moving up top plenty of space in here um, there you have it the bandage code yukon weight is equipped 4537 that little white piece is to essentially mount this rooftop AC controller. Again, they switched over to the sink countertop covers, so they're nice big plastic, use them as cutting boards. Sinks are one huge, uh, oh, I'm dropping stuff, one huge bin now, so no worries there. These still come off, you can spray around, hot, cold, window over there, all that good stuff. They actually do give you a little bit of a backsplash here, which is nice, because well, stove and splatters, you know how it works. Nice big refrigerator. This is the RV one, gas and electric. Um, everyone kind of seen these before, but I'm going to kind of go through it again. Infinitely adjustable shelves, and you can access it uh, through, of course, any one of these four doors. Uh, the big thing over here is this is where the television for the bedroom kind of all goes through. Inverted TVs only if you see that um, It is set up so the television in here can run off the inverter um, Let me see if I can show you this you have a screen there that'll pull to Block that out and over there when I get there because I'm gonna fall all over this is uh, The blackout screen so if you wanted it to be dark in here while you're sleeping um, Up front you've got the lighting of course power on both sides 110 and uh, the USB in here big storage there's hanging and then there's a shelf kind of in the back there let me uh see if i can't bump my light up i do have a little light on top of here kind of gets you all the way down so pretty decent there and again the television here does come with a bunch of other plugs and uh, odds and ends but it is small enough where rca cables uh, won't really detract much from the TV quality. 
All right, moving right along. Getting into the bathroom area. Again, most of these are very, very similar. Sink, medicine cabinets hanging out over here. Uh, we don't have the light on in here, so that does change some. Gives us a nice bright. Uh, the bathroom here does have this swinging door versus that accordion sliding one. Magnets to hold it in place. You can hear it kind of firmly lock. And then you've got the bubble dome for your shower. I mean, it's a full shower and a truck camper. So, I mean, this is for a truck camper, this is huge. Uh, moving right along, nice soft mattress. And let's do this for you guys. I'm stuck here. There we go. And that's the blackout shade. And of course you can open the top, fire escape, let some air in, kind of do whatever it is you want to do. And then over here, you do have a little bit more uh, closet and hanging space. So they're not really wasting a whole lot of room anywhere in this whole camper. And uh, I'm gonna point out the ledge up there. Sleep machines, cell phones, tablets, the whole nine yards. So that's kind of what this bad boy looks like. Let me uh, just kind of spin around here. We do get the shower uh, towel holders. And again, this table comes on and off real easy. Just a little quick connect right there. Um, got some controllers hanging out. Looks like a Roco TV um, for this Westinghouse. So it is a smart television, everyone always asks. And then I know we were in here, but it's always nice to double check and see things. That is this unit as a whole. I'm gonna try to go outside and walk you around it, but uh, the shop noise might uh, detract, so I might uh, edit that out. All right, so walking down and around. Yukon, of course, exterior speakers, mirrored windows, water tank fill is hanging out right here. This is just an access port. Walking right around, here we got someone working. Just finishing up the cleaning. Backup camera and the rest of it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know. Thanks for watching.